pot, I have heated up about one to one and a half cup of canola oil. Now I'm going to add about one pound of chicken. We're going to cook this chicken about um, 50 to 60 percent and then we'll take it out, we'll shred it. In the same oil, I have added about one large sliced onion and we're going to cook it until it becomes light golden brown. Now we're going to add about four large tomato puree and the same oil along fried onion. Meanwhile, we're going to add about three teaspoons of garlic paste. One and a half teaspoon of ginger paste. About one and a half to two teaspoons of salt or according to your taste. One teaspoon of red pepper powder. About half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. About one to one and a half teaspoons of black pepper powder. Now, the red chili powder is optional. If you don't have it, you don't like very spicy, you can uh, omit this ingredient. Now we're going to add our, now we're going to add our chicken bouillon. Okay, talking about red chili powder, it's optional. If you don't like your food very spicy, you don't have to add. Over here, I have about two and a half to three cups of bulgur. Bulgur is a cracked meat or closely um, broken wheat. I have soaked it overnight. You don't have to soak it overnight. You can soak it about three hours or two hours prior to cooking. Now I'm going to add about six to seven cups of hot boiling water. Now we're going to cook the bulgur for about um, maybe 35 to 40 minutes because I have already soaked it overnight. If you're not going to soak it overnight or maybe two, three hours prior cooking, it's going to take a lot longer to cook completely. Now I'm going to add the same cooked chicken I have shredded or chopped it in small pieces. It's going to be cooked along bulgur wheat. I'm going to cover the pot and let it cook on medium um, flame. And meanwhile, I'll keep on checking on it. Meanwhile, you have to keep checking in between. And if you notice, the amount of water I've added is pretty much reduced. Uh, you have to add a little bit water um, until the complete cooking process because it will soak or absorb um, the moisture as it is cooking. So I'm going to add about two more cups of water.
Meanwhile, it's cooking. I am going to add about one cup of chopped dill. You can add fresh dill, but I had some frozen one. And I'm going to add this frozen dill. And we're going to let it cook for another 20 to 25 minutes or so. We're going to check on our bulgur soup again. Okay, it has good amount of moisture and it is cooked probably about 70%. At this time, we're going to add about one can of garbanzo beans. If you don't like it, you don't have to add it. You can skip. Cover it and let it cook again. Time to check on our bulgur soup. Looks like it's pretty cooked and ready. Now, a lot of people like it um, in a very thick consistency and some people like it a little bit runny or thinner. Now, it's totally up to you at this stage if you want to cook it even further to make it thicker or to just leave it the way it is. Oh my god, I'm having so much trouble with my camera today because I am cooking or using a very big pot and um, it's totally affecting the angle of the camera. So I hope it's gonna work out with this episode. Let's see. <laughs> 